This is the town of Glen Haven, Colorado, which is about 20 miles west of Loveland and not far from Estes Park. And this location is thought to have been the approximate epicenter of the November 7th, 1882 earthquake. Now, that earthquake is estimated to have been about a 6.6, .6, but possibly as strong as a 7.2, this earthquake was probably felt, or could have been felt, over an area of about 330,000 square miles, which is about three times the size of the state of Colorado. There are some other interesting aspects to the 1882 earthquake, including the fact that it could have been dubbed the Election Day earthquake, and that's because it took place at 6.30 p.m. on the evening of a national midterm election. Now, there were rock falls and landslides reported in many places. There was serious damage done to the Denver electricity generating plant, and many people fled their houses where the shaking was particularly violent. You gotta remember, this was 1882, only 17 years after the end of the American Civil War, and the entire population of Colorado was only about 200,000. Colorado State University wasn't even a teenager yet, at a mere 12 years of age. The whole science of earthquake prediction is not well advanced at all, but in general, they help us understand the structure of the Earth better. For the most part, when people get concerned about earthquakes, they're thinking about the tectonic or fault-related earthquakes. And that's where you have a, a geologic structure called a fault, which is a break in the crust and the two sides of the rock slip past each other suddenly and violently. But again, we have this sort of short time frame where we've been here and recording earthquakes. So whether the next one happens tomorrow or 100 years from now or 200 years from now, at this point, we really just don't know. One guarantee is that we will be surprised in the future. <laughs>